This was an important game for Barcelona as they looked to maintain their unbeaten start to the season and keep pace with league leaders Real Madrid. Hetafe came into the match sitting 13th in the table but are always a tough defensive side to break down, so Barca knew they would face a challenge. Manager Xavi named what has become his strongest starting eleven, with Lewandowski leading the line supported by Fatty and Dembele out wide. In midfield, Pedri and Gavi started in the center with Kessie holding. At the back, Araujo and Garcia paired up in defense with Alba and Azpilicueta as fullbacks. The game started with Barcelona dominating possession as expected but struggling to penetrate Hitafa's low block. Lewandowski dropped deep looking for the ball but found little space to operate in. Hetafe were content to sit back and defend numbers. Around the 20-minute mark Barcelona had their first real chance. Alba found space down the left and fed a perfect ball to Fatty arriving at the back post but his shot was well saved by Hitafe keeper David Soria. This proved to be a sign of things to come as Barca continued to create chances but lacked the all-important finishing touch. Hetafe's game plan was working well as they frustrated Barcelona and looked to hit on the break. In the 35th minute they almost took a shock lead, catching Barca cold on a counter. N.S. Unal was played in behind the defense but saw his effort hit the side netting with Ter Stegen beaten. This was a warning sign that Barcelona needed to be tighter at the back. The first half ended goalless despite Barcelona dominating possession 66% to 34%. The fans were getting anxious as chances continued to go begging in what was becoming a frustrating performance. At the break, Xavi would have demanded more clinical finishing from his attack. The second half started in similar fashion with Barcelona camped in Hitafe's half. In the 52nd minute, the breakthrough finally came. Wonderful work from Pedri saw him skip past challenges and thread a perfect ball to Lewandowski who expertly placed his shot past the keeper from the edge of the box. Cue wild celebrations from the pole at scoring yet again. With the goal, Barcelona's confidence grew and they started to dominate even more. Gavi, Fatty and Dembele were starting to find more pockets of space and cause problems. In the 65th, Gavi played a 1-2 with Dembele before firing just wide from range. It was now all Barca as Hatafa looked to hang on. Xavi made a double substitution in the 70th minute bringing on youngsters Ansu Fati and Pablo Torre for Dembele and Petri. The changes livened Barca up further as they searched for the killer second goal. In the 75th minute, Lewandowski thought he'd scored it, firing home from close range only to see it chalked off for a tight offside call. Replays showed it was incredibly close. As the clock ticked down, Hatafe started to throw more men forward looking for an equalizer. This left space in behind and Barcelona could have sealed it on the break. Lewandowski sent Fatty clean through in the 88th minute but his first touch let him down and the chance went begging. Hatafe pushed everyone up in injury time and enjoyed some late pressure but Barcelona held on for the narrow 1-0 victory. The full-time whistle went to huge cheers from the camp new faithful as their side maintained their unbeaten start. In summary, it wasn't Barcelona's best performance by any means but getting the win was all that mattered. Lewandowski's goal, his seventh already this season, ultimately proved the difference. Hetafe played their role well in frustrating Xavi's men but in the end quality told. Barca move up to second, two points behind leaders real with a game in hand. If they can tighten up defensively, they look strong title contenders. Up next is the Champions League visit of Inter midweek before a tasty Clásico at the Bernabeu after the international break.